What's going on everyone? My name is Prerag Juthani. I'm actually an MD MBA student at Yale right now and I'm applying into internal medicine residency this cycle. And um, with that being said, I actually wanted to make this video because this was something that was especially interesting to me and I thought would be interesting to all of you because it's related to medicine and more specifically it's related to residency within the United States for particular specialties. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the most popular specialties for residency applicants this year, aka 2021. As you may know, the residency application process is governed by ERAS. Um, it's this thing that anyone who applies to residency will know about. And if you are not applying to residency, don't worry about it. The point is that they keep track of all of the numbers and they are now going to tell us uh, the number of people who applied into particular specialties this year, 2021. 20, uh, uh, and so let's just get straight into the numbers. And before we begin, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, all my socials. So if you need to follow me on any of these things, uh, feel free. On Instagram, I post a little bit more about my day-to-day -day life. And on my Twitter, it's a little bit more science-y. And my health news Twitter, I also talk a bit about health news as well as my LinkedIn uh, is more professional. So with all that being said, let's just jump straight into the data. So as I said, this was released by the ERAS and the AAMC, American Association of Medical Colleges. And you'll see that the, un the way to interpret this data is that the cross-specialty applicant data represents the number of applicants applying to both specialty X, aka like the top, specialty X, and specialty Y. Numbers on the main diagonal, which are highlighted in bold, represent the total number of applicants for that specialty. So for example, um, you'll see that ANS means anesthesia. Uh, so if you were to look at this cell, this is the number of people who are applying to anesthesia and then also applying to surgery uh, uh, as a preliminary year, right? On the other hand, this is the total number of people just applying to anesthesia overall, which is 3,750. 3,750. You'll see that this is across all individuals, including IMGs, which are known as international medical graduates, and non-IMGs, which are non-international medical graduates. So the numbers that we are going to be focusing on to understand what were the most popular specialties, just purely by sheer number, is going to be the diagonals, the ones that are bolded. Because you can see here, the number of individuals who applied to internal medicine categorical programs is 22,045, as opposed to the number of people who apply to, for example, family medicine is 14,755. So you can already see that the top two specialties, uh, purely by number, are uh, internal medicine categorical and then followed by family medicine. Then you have this thing called a prelim year, an internal medicine prelim year. A prelim year is usually a year for individuals who are probably not going to end up subspecializing in internal medicine, but still want to do one year of medical training before they start training in other specialties. So for example, individuals who are applying to dermatology may do an internal medicine prelim year. Individuals who are applying to ophthalmology may need to do an internal medicine prelim year. So you can see that there's 14,670 people who are doing internal medicine as a prelim year. On the other hand, categorical represents people who are pursuing internal medicine um, as their main career goal. So it's a three-year program, whereas a prelim year tends to be about a one-year program. So just with that being said, you can already see that internal medicine, Family medicine is quite popular, and then I think next up, we actually come right down here, and then you have pediatrics. Pediatrics is pretty popular with 6,390 applicants, and then you also have psychiatry, pretty high up, 4,919 applicants, and you have radiation, diagnostic and interventional, both of which are um, very different. You know, diagnostic is individuals who are reading the scans. Interventional is usually individuals who use radiographic images to um, actually intervene in the body. So for example, if you have a pulmonary embolism, the way uh, interventional radiologists would treat that is they would often get a, a imaging study of your lungs and then ultimately find the, find the clot and intervene and pull that clot out. That's interventional radiology. So all that to say, you now know the different specialties that are quite popular. Um, now I actually wanna break it down by the fact that this is broken down by internal medicine, IMGs, and this is also broken down by non-IMGs. So um, I want to show you this because you'll see that the fraction of individuals applying to certain specialties can vary based on if um, uh, based on international medical graduates and non-international medical graduates. And the reason I say that is because it seems that certain specialties are particularly more um, amenable to inter international medical graduates. Uh, I don't entirely know why. There's probably a lot of factors that go into it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a bit about this in the last slide of this presentation. But all that to say, remember internal medicine? Remember those 22,045 22, individuals? Well, guess what? Of those 22,045 individuals, 13,781 
are uh, international medical graduates. The definition of an international medical graduate for, for our sake, is individuals who do medical school, usually outside the United States. So you can see 13,000 of that 22 is, um, is international. Then you want to look at excluding international medical graduates. These are usually individuals who are within the United States. So you, you can actually do the arithmetic. If you take 22,045 uh, and then you subtract 13,781, which is the international medical graduates, you will actually get... Um, you will actually get 8,264, and that's the number of individuals who are applying into internal medicine categorical programs coming from medical schools within the United States. So I'm going to let you interpret this data as you need for the parts that are relevant to you, but I did want to do a little bit of synthesis just to kind of help individuals out. So you can actually go through and do this exact thing, and I created a nice table because, well, who doesn't love tables, all right? So I, I took every specialty, and I, I particularly focused on certain specialties that my friends and I are, are going into because I, 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 I don't know. These are specialties we talk about daily. So I wanted to tell you, international, uh, inter uh, internal medicine had 22,000 applicants. 63% of them were international medical graduates. Uh, 8,264 were non-international medical graduates. Now let's look at something like Durham. Durham is, tends to be notorious for being highly competitive. So Durham had about 13, uh, 1, 1,319 um, applicants, and of those, only 21% were international medical graduates, and 79% were non-international medical graduates. Um, all this to say, as you can see on this, the percent of individuals who apply as international medical graduates to certain specialties is highly fluctuating, and part of that is because certain specialties, if they're already very competitive, it my hypothesis is that if you're an international medical graduate, it may be tougher to break into those industries. Not impossible, but just tougher. And you can already see this where Durham has 21% international medical graduate applications, Ortho has 15%. Note the caveat here is that none of this uh, accounts for what percent of these individuals match, right? This is just the people who are applying. We don't actually know what percent of them will actually match into these specialties. I've made several videos on this topic which I will link in the description below. But I just wanted to put this out there to show you what, what specialties uh, were particularly popular among IMGs, which ones maybe were not as popular, and overall how many applicants we got, which is uh, quite a lot. You know, 22,000 for one specialty is, is a lot, especially when you consider that um, there may not be as many spots as you think. So I'm going to try to conclude this video here. If you have more questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, just wanted to kind of put this out there to provide insight into individuals who are applying this year, particularly because this is the year I'm applying. And um, as I said, I hope I hope this was useful for you. If it was, please drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. And of course, if you want to look at this data, I'm all about open access. So I'm obviously going to link all of this data in the description below because I obviously did not make this data. This is all from the ERAS and the AAMC for which I'm eternally grateful. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, again, drop the like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And I promise lots of cool videos coming up very soon. See you soon. Peace.